Now, at first with these strawberry cause, gel cause, I thought, huh, I'm really looking forward to these calls, whether they start at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, depending on what coach you own. But after a while of listening to these calls, I'm like, these people's IQ ain't worth a bag of rocks. Straight up, idiotic, dumb behind cause that I'm like, if anything, can anybody learn anything from this? Did Shirley learn anything from listening to herself and her stupid responses? It's like this woman was caught up in a whirlwind at her age. I don't know if she was thinking, well, if I don't settle and go along with things, who's going to want me? It feels good to be wanted by a man. Somebody that I know has got me. Yeah, got you in a whole bunch of bull crap that you did say I do to, but come to find out you wasn't the only one that this man done said I do to at the same dang time. You're not the only wife. It was just bad, 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 a bad road of discovery of problems after problems after problems. He brought problems on yo, yo credit, but yet he was supposed to have this business, him and his business partner to fix people's credit, but preying on the low income, downtrodden people, taking advantage of their credit, making it worse than what it really is so that they could elevate their pockets. Straight up scam artists, knowing who to team up with. Allegedly, who knows, Shirley, they may have pimped your card, okay? They may have pulled your card and thought, well, this is a dumb one right here that we could possibly hit a lick from take advantage of what she got who she knows be in that circle she won't have a clue because after Nesto get done with her because after Erica get done with her we gonna do her in and we gonna do her in so good because this might be our last rodeo this man took it up on himself to turn her daughter allegedly against her you know we we live in an era now where mothers are against daughters daughters are against mothers over men feeling like oh well she jealous of me looking at my body and looking at hers doing the comparison thing but then allegedly nesto is rubbing up against not only her but got children involved in this situation as well but surely allegedly turning a blind eye. Shirley, I think you knew some of this stuff that was going on, but you were just so caught up in the moment of having somebody to love on you on them lonely nights through the years that you have been lonely, that you just settled and was willing to just risk it all, which you did. How you just gonna come up in a situation where you ain't got no car? You done got rid of houses dealing with him. He done did only God knows what with your social security number, probably things you didn't even know, handing your number over to this person, that person to get things accomplished in your name because he did not care. He did not care for you from jump because he had a plan for you. Ain't no telling what part you played in it. You had to have known something. You can't tell me things was just riding along and you never questioned anything. But judging from them jail calls, maybe you didn't. Because some of the times on the phone, you were sounding like, oh, oh no, I'm just so embarrassed when such and such finds out. I'm not sure what I'm going to say. Then you got Nesto's stupid sounding behind talking about, did you see me on the news? I'm on the news. I'm going to be on the news. Did you catch it? Did you catch what they say? What they say? I want them to replay it. Can you replay it while I'm on the phone? Like he's on 10, like a kid. Nesto absolutely belongs where 
He's at because this man had to be stopped. Talking about he was driving this status of car. Now he done had to bump things up and he's driving the Royce Royce now. His business is projected to bring in this many millions. Like they doing it. It was feeling good with the money running through the fingers, looking at the numbers. Then you telling Shirley Strawberry that your attorney, you need your attorney to be close nearby. The attorney, allegedly your attorney that you was dealing with. No, 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 no. Dealing with what type of dealings? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That type of dealings. And here's Shirley, she off to work doing her letters, not even knowing or being able to put together what type of doings you was really doing, wanting to keep her nearby, the side chick. You had way too much going on and then all of the allegations that's being brought up against you. Again, once again, you would not be put away right now if something was going right, but you got so much faith with these jail calls. Oh, it's gonna work out telling her. You got Shirley writing letters to the judge like she the woman, like she the woman, like she got that poor saying that she wants you to be released. She wants you to be released. No, Shirley. He does not need to be released with his crimes that he done involved himself in. I don't know what delusional land of living that you're in, but you were probably the type coming up that you never did like to listen. You never did like to listen. Therefore, you had yourself wound up in situations. That's probably why you was perfect for the strawberry letter job because you did not like to listen. You like to do the talking to tell people how it should go. In actuality, you needed to be the one listening. So I hope you will have learned something because believe me, it's still some scammers out here. Okay, that's still waiting to take advantage of any and everybody. They don't care how old you are, what size you come in, what shape, it don't matter how you wear your hair, the complexion of your skin, what your degree might be in, may not be in, if you do rub elbows with, they don't care. When people can size you up, just off the strength of your mind and what your conversation is and how you operate, that's enough right there to know, oh, I got me a weak one. I'm about to ride this wave till the wheels fall off. I'm going to tell this one. I'm going to tell that one. And we are about to hit this lick till we can't hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it no more. Your name probably was circulating in these streets for quite some time. And it just happened to be your turn. You ain't the first. God is a healer. If you just want to turn everything over and be for real about it. Yeah, we are dealing with something, but I'm just like, dang, can it get any worse? And then with this so-called barbershop Nesto had going on, what barbershop operates, what business operates 24 hours in a day? I know after hours, Okay, there is a such thing, but there's also a such thing as a shutdown period. But sometimes it has been stated, especially from the elders. It ain't nothing but trouble at certain hours. Straight up running a mm, 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 tuition house. Now, maybe it was some real legit licensed barbers in there that did not want anything whatsoever to do. They just wanted to pay their booth rent, make their money, take care of themselves, take care of their family, didn't want nothing, no type of conversation to be involved in it in case anything went down, wanted nothing to do with it. But again, because of the greed and the love of money, the risk that people will take you, Shirley, you had yourself in a whole whirlwind of a situation and you were still trying to stand by this man thinking it was going to get better when you already knew. Shirley, you had to have 
but maybe not. I would suggest women tap in, women tap in to try to have discernment of spirit for things not to go this far and beyond. Because this went far, but it just kept going beyond. I mean, things are being mentioned with inappropriate findings on the computer, laptop of engagements that's inappropriate, abuse of animals, just in all types of, just in all types of rhetoric, the mind twisted up in all types of unhealthy, unclean spirits that have been let in. Once you start to intertwine with these unclean spirits, you can easily open yourself to any and everything of these unkind spirits, depending on how well you're trying to stand by somebody to make them happy, to prove to them, I got you, I am loyal. Some people do not deserve anything from you. Some people don't even deserve a simple hi because the way you say hi back to them, they think, oh, they said it like this. That might be an opening right there. So no, this isn't always like just directed towards you, Shirley. Maybe this was a message for somebody else. But in the meantime, since this is the focus, with these strawberry letters that she was reading, sounds like you needed to listen to some of your own advice, which sometimes does happen. People are sometimes quick to be able to put it out there, but cannot receive what they are being, what they are being told, what they are telling other people how they should go about things. But if this has not been a rude awakening for you, I don't know what it would be, but. The situation right here, girl, 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 lady, 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 you need to just run for your life if you get up out of this one. If you get up out of this one and have nothing to say and never want to be a part of nothing like this ever, I would advise you to also take the time out to listen to your kids, especially the underage kids. Take your time with children. Take your kids got something to say. You have to be patient. Pray about the relationship. All things alleged that I am saying, it's just my opinion in the form of entertainment. But some of this stuff, you know what's true, Shirley. You know what's true. And you know what it is that you need to work on. But some of these women, some of these women be so stuck on stupid Anything to have a man, anything to have a man, risk it, risk it, risk it. Okay, okay, I'll do it, we'll do it. Like, what the heck are you operating off of? Just dumb, dumb, dumb. Believe in all of the dumb lies. Like, my gosh, is it that many people out here that is not, I know of some dumb, Women, I'm sure we all done met some dumb women. If we not the dumb women that, you know, we talking about that you get involved in some things before you know it. Now, some of these situations can escalate to be a little bit more dumber than others. But if they can be avoided, especially when they start giving you signs and signals. But no, you blinded by what feels good, what's being said to you, what's being titillating to the heart, to the mind, to the body to the spirit, to the soul, to the financial pockets. I got to help him. I got to help him. I got to save him. I'm listening. I want to be that good potential wife. I want to be that good other half. Girl, stop playing. Get about that life. Slap yourself back into reality. I don't know what world that is. You can still be that good potential wife, have your head on straight, but have in mind what type of man that you want and learn not to tell every cotton picking thing that somebody can use against you, especially when it comes to family. Pray, 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 pray. 
meditate, get to know yourself, get to know your boundaries, where your cutoff points are. So that way you won't be caught off guard. You're like, oh, I prepared for this one. If you're not prepared for it, then you know, breathe, take a step back, reassess the situation, then go from there. Nobody, you don't owe nobody nothing to be able to tell them in a reasonable amount of time, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that in my name for you soon as they ask you that question. You have time to think about and assess the whole situation to decide what will be the best outcome for you, especially at that age. Ain't nobody got time to be trying to restart their credit. Because who knows, you might have, just in general, you might have a son, a younger son, you might have a younger nephew, just somebody that would be a little bit more worthy that you do know, that is trying, but not a person that's just out here scamming people. That's one thing I do not like. But again, you know, maybe he was out here allegedly scamming. I'm trying to get that word allegedly in here. These are just my opinions. But like I said, he got that rap list sheet for a reason for what he was doing. He ain't just sitting down there at the county just to be making phone calls about when it gets hot, what to do with it. He, he ain't down there saying, you know, what's so beautiful and did you get that done and send me these pictures and I just can't wait. He ain't just down there requesting to have a hundred dollars to be put in his account just to be down there. He's down there because something, something, something just ain't right. And that needs to prevail in justice and just moving forward. Women, be careful of these men that you let in your house to be around your kids and the underage kids and your family. Men, same thing. Be aware who you let in your house. The women. See if they are a good fit. If they are worthy to be around your parents, your sisters, your kids, your cousins. You got to try to spear by the spirit. Not everybody is for you. That's all I'm saying.